we need to choose and pause and check do i want people around me to be honest or do i want people to say things only because we know that what are the things which are going to make you happy so i have the power to manipulate you then and people can manipulate us today they can manipulate us because they can say things which will make us happy so they pick it but what will that do to the relationship what will that do to the relationship what will that do to my relationship which is standing on a foundation of which is standing on a foundation of lies no honesty no honesty within myself because i'm thinking and feeling something else speaking something else and no honesty in my relationship and once i start doing this i start getting used to living this way i start getting used to living this way and i believe this is the right way of living it's normal be nice be politically correct be courteous how can you walk up to somebody and say that your dress is not looking nice once i start living that way inside my system is not going to be clean and most important you know even when somebody genuinely appreciates you you might create a thought which says don't know whether she really liked it or she just said it for the sake of saying it aata hai ki nahi aata hai sir see because we know that some people are not being honest so even when somebody is genuinely giving it to me i'm doubting them what is this going to do all to my energy and to my vibrations what's this going to do to my energy and my vibrations happiness always means when my state of mind my every thought my every feeling how i feel is dependent only on is dependent only on on me when it is dependent on something and someone outside then i will need that something or someone to be my way for me to be able to create the right thought and if they are not my way i will get disturbed is my mind dependent on people and situations is my mind how i think and i feel inside dependent on people and situations is my mind dependent on people and situations visualize any situation that's happened in the last few days see the situation see their behavior and see how i felt inside and then just check same situation same behavior did i have the option did i have the option of feeling another way hmm? situation their behavior my feeling same situation same behavior do i have the option of feeling another way anyone created a little irritation or anger in the last one week please see the scene their behavior ask yourself did i have the option of feeling another way being another way behaving another way did i have an option did i have an option how many feel i had an option i had an option second if i created hurt in the last one week see their behavior check how i felt and now ask yourself did i have an option of being another way did i have an option of being another way how many feel i had another option of being another way now if i had an option of being another way 
which means situation is outside, the person is here, their behavior is here. And here I have an option. There I don't have an option. There who has the option? They have the option. Their behavior, they have an option. How I feel? How I feel? I have an option. But if I live my life believing that I don't have an option and I start using a vocabulary which says, obviously I'll get angry. Obviously I'll get upset. Obviously I will get hurt. So when I start using the word obviously, I'm telling myself there's no other option. There's only one option, the obvious option of getting angry and hurt. Are my emotions obvious or do I have options? Do I have options? Hanji? Not always. Give me one situation where you don't have options. When I feel... Yeah, so when I see a situation, I was supposed to cross it, I was not able to do it, I was not able to fulfill it. I don't have options how to think and feel. Feeling is obvious. You can't complete the situation, is the situation. Feeling. Okay. How many of you have experienced a situation where you were not able to complete what you had to complete? Anybody's gone through this situation? How many created guilt? How many created low self-esteem and personal failure feeling? How many are holding on to it even today? How many created a thought, it's okay, I'm going to do it better next time? How many have forgotten about it? Sorry, brother, not obvious options. Same situation, options. There is no emotion which is obvious. There is no feeling which is obvious. Everything is an option. But when I call it an obvious feeling, what will I do? When, will, when I say this is an obvious feeling, what will I do? I will not use my other options. And that's why the title today is about choose happiness. Because happiness is one of the Happiness is one of the options. Happiness means the right way of thinking in that situation is one of the options. One option is to create guilt. Second option is to keep hitting myself inside. I don't need the world to criticize me. I'm enough for myself. Yes. And sometimes people around me are being very nice to me. Family and friends are saying, it's okay, it's fine. They can be nice to me. I'm enough for myself. And I will just go on and on and on because I will say, it's obvious to feel this. Now when I say it's obvious to feel this, it is I who is choosing the option of self-criticism and guilt. Do I have an option to heal myself? Have I ever healed somebody else? Have I ever healed somebody else? How many of you have healed somebody else and changed their options? Yes, somebody very low, upset, angry with themselves and we say nice things to them and we continue saying it and don't give up on them till they choose another option. Anyone here done that? You've changed the other person's mood. And that means look at the power we have. Look at the power we have. We have the power to change 
somebody else's mood. But when we are low, we are waiting for them to come and heal us. And then I can create an even more self-destructive thought by saying, every time when they were upset, I left everything and spent time with them. And today when I call them up and say, do you know what, I'm not in a good mood. They said, we'll talk later. I have enough work to do right now. Talk. And then leave alone the work, leave alone the project. Now I will say, nobody loves me. Nobody cares for me. Nobody values me. Every thought, every thought which I'm creating is an option which I am choosing and at that moment I am choosing I am choosing what am I choosing at that moment? I'm choosing opposite of happiness have I ever sat back and said to myself I have the power to heal other people I have the power to make unhappy people happy. I have the power to make people forgive their past. Forget everything that they were holding on to and move ahead. I have the power to motivate people who have failed. I have the power to do that to others' minds. I have the power to do that to other minds. Can I do it to myself? Can I do it to myself? Can I do it to myself? But then why do I not do it to myself? Because of one belief. I will heal them and they will heal me. I will heal them. That is what family and friends are for. So I'm friends with other people. But I'm not a friend with I'm not a friend with myself. When somebody else is low, I said, Chodo na ya, chalo. It's okay. Leave it. Let's go have coffee. Let's go for lunch. But when I am low, I said, Today I will not eat anything. <laughs> I'm not going to eat. Close the door. Go away. Why can I not say to myself, Chodo, chalo, let's go have lunch? Because I will close the door waiting for somebody else to knock and come inside and say, Chalo, chodo, let's go for lunch. <laughs> Dependency. There's only one word which does not allow me to be happy always. Dependency. When I say, I will be happy when something outside. Dependency. So do I have an option to my emotions? Do I have an option to my emotions? If someone's been really, 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 really mean, mean, rude, abusive, do I have an option not to get hurt? How do I use that option? They are saying everything which is, we can't even repeat it. How do I choose an option of not getting hurt and being stable? What will I have to do to myself? I will have to say something to myself that time. I can't just be stable like that. I'm listening to those repeated words and sometimes it comes very often. It's not just once in a while, it comes very often. For somebody it could come on a daily basis. Because the other person is... The other person is... Unwell. They are not well. They are not well. Anyone who can use wrong language, anyone who can criticize other people, anyone who can demean somebody, is not well. Emotionally, unwell. But they are unwell. I, 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 I was perfectly fine till I chose the option of consuming their infection. 
and I consume their infection only because I have a thought programming here which says I will be happy when they will say nice things to me. And then I will say, what am I asking for? I'm just asking for you to be normal. Am I asking too much? No, I'm just asking you to behave normal. The other person is unwell. Is it normal to expect somebody to just be fine when they're unwell? Yes. Someone's running high fever, body ache, completely fatigued, cannot move, lying in bed. And I go up to them and I say, what am I asking from you? Just to come with me for a 30 minute walk, that's all. It's normal to go for a 30 minute walk. Am I expecting too much from you? And then I keep asking them to come for a 30 minute walk. And they're not even moving out of bed. How mean of them to do that. Why did I marry you? Why did I marry you? Is, am I asking for too much? Is this called family? They are unwell. My definition of normal is according to my health. 30 minute walk is normal for me because as of now I am healthy. But a 30 minute walk is impossible for somebody who's unwell. And I can stand at them and say, you are the cause of my pain. Because you're not being normal. Normal according to who? Normal according to who? Normal according to my definition of health. Now I have two options. Either heal them. Either heal them or go to my room, get onto my bed and say, I'm also not well. Similarly, emotionally, I have two options. Either to heal them. And the easiest way to heal them is don't consume the pain. Don't consume the pain. Don't say, obviously I will be hurt because you are behaving like this to me. Just create one thought. They are so unhappy inside to behave like this. It's nothing about me, it's about them. They are talking about me. But how they perceive me and how they talk about me is through their emotional health, right? When we are not well, the best of food tastes bitter. Yes? Yes? Yes. When we are emotionally not well, the best of people taste bitter. I will find fault with everybody. I will criticize everyone. I will have abusive language for people around me. Not because of who they are, it's because I am unwell. And this I could be family, could be my own child, could be a colleague, could be a friend. What do I want to do? If my happiness is dependent on their behavior and they are unwell, then I'm also going to be unhappy. But if my happiness is my choice and my option, I'm going to be there with them, not get hurt, but be compassionate instead. And the only way to do that is, don't create hurt when people are not being the way we want them to be. People cannot be our way. Have we ever thought, why do we expect people to be our way? People are going to be? People are going to be? Let's say it together. People are going to be? A little louder. People are going to be? I don't need people to be? I don't need people to be? Can we say this one line every day? 
Say it every day. Why do I need to say it every day? Because I need to change this very, very deep programming which says people need to be my way and most important, I will be happy when people and situations are my way and most important, I will not be happy when people are not my way. People need not be people need not be my way. They are going to be and I'm okay with them being. Soch ke bol na? Think, think, think. You know why I have to be okay with them being their way? Because I don't have another choice. I may not like your way. I may not like your way. But... I cannot expect you to be my way. Because if I expect you to be my way, I'm writing a destiny of pain. Don't you think we're writing a destiny of pain by wanting people to be our way? Yes? Why can people not be my way? Let's think, why can't people not be my way? Because actually it's not my way, I'm just wanting them to be the right way. So why can't people simply be the right way? Why can't people be the right way? Why can't people be the right way? Everyone is different. Have you ever, ever felt that somebody said to you that you are not being the right way, but you felt you were being the right way. Anybody ever felt that? All the time. <laughs> Which means, not about people meeting up to your expectations, about you not having met up to somebody else's expectations. Someone else being hurt because of your behavior. Ever experience somebody else being hurt because of you? Yes? And ever found yourself trying to prove to them you, I have no intention of hurting you. And they will look at you and say, you hurt me. <laughs> I'll say, no, I did not want to hurt you. And then we'll go on saying, I love you, I respect you, I care for you. And they say, you hurt me. Why does that happen? That my normal way my normal way turns out to be cause of hurt for them. Why does that happen? My normal way turns out to be the cause of pain for another person. Why? And similarly, someone else's normal way becomes the cause of pain for me. Like so sweetly sister said, when somebody does not appreciate me, their normal way does not have the habit of going around appreciating people. Everybody does not have the habit of appreciating others. So suppose I am that one, it's just not in my programming here to appreciate you. It does not mean I don't respect you. It does not mean I don't love you. It does not mean I don't care for you. It's just that I don't have this sanskar of saying, you're looking very pretty, you've cooked very well, you're doing very... I don't have it. So I am being my normal way. But my normal way, my normal way does not match your normal way. And we want that our normal ways should be the same. Our right and wrong should be the same. And sometimes my right could be your wrong. How can everyone think the same? Possible for everyone to think the same? No. Is everyone supposed to be different? And now bring that one person before you and say, Ah, different. <laughs> different. Not wrong. Not wrong. Different. Bring them there before your mind. Look at them. See what expectation I had from them. And just tell yourself, what was a normal expectation for me 
was not normal for was not normal for them because their personality their nature their sanskars are different from mine 